Ever been completely stumped by a math problem that seemed impossible to crack? Imagine having a secret strategy that turns your biggest challenges into simple, solvable puzzles. Today, an IMO gold medalist reveals his method for deconstructing even the most complex problems. Discover how he transforms that overwhelming impossible into a series of clear, manageable steps, unlocking the hidden patterns that lead straight to the solution. Ready to turn your frustration into triumph? Let's dive in. So say you are faced with a very hard problem and you don't have a starting point and you can't think of anything. What would you do in that case? Do you have any ways of thinking to come up with ideas? That That's a matter of experience. or That's something I've... I guess that's an aspect that I've improved in a lot through experience and through solving problems throughout the years, basically. Uh, with taking taking part in contests, uh, seeing solutions to problems I couldn't solve, and analyzing. It's sort of, some of the time, there's not going to be an easy starting point. And uh, if you can't, like, if you can't think of anything, if there is not a single idea coming into your mind, if you, if you don't know where to start, that's where knowing theory helps you. Because, and that's where knowing a lot of ideas helps you. Because then you can sort of try to compare, you can basically take guesses. Okay, like, th this is my problem, it, it would be nice if I could get this, let's see, you know, maybe it fits to this idea, or maybe it fits to that idea that I've already seen, and kind of, like, basically try to think of anything you might have seen before that looks remotely like the problem. And some of the time it's also just, go like, try to write something down, you know, try to like with problem two from this year's i i think that was that was something where you know it's not it's not obvious how you will solve it immediately and you have to just write things down and start start doing something you know start manipulating with the with the congruences and with the divisions and try try to get something and try to build intuition from that so i understand that you're saying there are two ways to tackle a problem whether you read the problem and you come up with ideas from the problem or you have uh, some uh, strategies and tricks in your mind that you are throwing at the problem and seeing if that might work. Yes, and exactly that. And throughout my career, I've always been more uh, successful at the first strategy, uh, like trying to, anal through, through the problem and through sort of analyzing the problem, try to build ideas naturally uh, but with experience and with learning new ideas and reading through the solutions to the problems you didn't solve you uh, I've started to improve significantly in the other method and that it, you everybody should know that that is something you are gonna have to do at times and something that is really useful to to just have some standard ideas that you can throw at a problem uh, when it starts looking like some of those ideas, or even when it doesn't, but uh, any way that you can apply some something that you already know to a problem, and you know, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But like, if you can, if you really can't get any kind of idea from the problem, then that's something you you should go to. And also uh, for getting the idea from the problem, something I I've thought of and something that is a core strategy. That is a very important problem-solving strategy. Always look at examples. When you've got a really complex problem with, I don't know, like some combinatorial geometry on endpoints or something, some some very general statement, like try to look at specific cases, try to look at specific examples and try to build intuition from that. If you can't uh, handle the general problem, it's always uh, it's always going to help you to, to work with examples. Uh, so that's one thing and the other thing is obviously if you really you really can't get any kind of intuition from the problem then start tro start throwing standard ideas at it and see what happens